Pat Sertan and Jerry Judy were the standouts on day four of Broncos training camp. Hello everyone and welcome to Denver Broncos Syndicate. If this is your first time tuning in, we are part of a network of channels dedicated to bringing you content about our favorite sports teams. I am your host, Gage Madrid. Before we dive into day four of camp, if you could just do me a favor and leave a like on this video, as well as subscribe and ring the notification bell. We are trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the beginning of the regular season and your help really does push this content out to fellow members of Broncos country. Although I was unable to attend training camp today since I didn't have a ticket, I was able to get enough information off the internet to bring you guys a recap video for today's practice. Based on multiple reports, the defense was the winning unit of day four. Both the pass rush and the secondary were making plays, giving the offense quite a bit of fits. After a less intense practice yesterday, the team was back to practicing at full speed today, which was the plan all along per Nathaniel Hackett. The defense set the tone for practice early, as on the very first play, Jonas Griffith came flying in from the right side of the offensive line for what would have been a likely sack if it were a real game. Griffith continues to have a very nice camp, and at this point, he's the heavy favorite to start at off-ball linebacker alongside Josie Jewell. Two plays later, Draymond Jones came in for another sack on Russell Wilson. PS2 then decided to get in on the fun. On the ensuing play, Russell Wilson used a hard count which drew the defense off sides, leading to a free play for the offense. Russ launched up a go ball for Cortland Sutton, but PS2 had him absolutely blanketed and went up and swatted the ball out of midair. That was the first of many big plays for PS2 today, who has had a massive camp as he continues to take his game to the next level. Wilson and the offense responded by finding Jerry Judy on a pair of quick passes for five yards apiece. It's clear that the the offense is trying to get Jerry Judy involved early and often, and to this point, he's responded well since a rough go of it on opening day of camp. The defense continued to force the offense to dink and dunk their way down the field, as Russ found Sutton, Melvin Gordon, and Judy for three consecutive short completions. After a brief special teams period, the team came back for another round of 11-on-11s. Eric Saubert continues to impress, as Russ connected with him on a 15 and 6 yard game gain respectively. At this point, we may seriously have to talk about Eric Saubert seeing snaps over Albert O, as Albert has had a pretty quiet camp to this point. That certainly isn't something you want to see, considering the step forward he was expected to take this season following Noah Fant being shipped off to Seattle. On the next play, the offense once again went after Sertan, and once again, he made him pay for it. Wilson dialed up another go ball, this time for Tim Patrick. Sertan was able to undercut Patrick and was in near perfect position for the pick. Fortunately, Patrick was able to get his hands up and break up the pass, narrowly averting disaster for the offense. Sertan is starting to earn the reputation as a corner that you simply cannot target. Following that play, the offense finally decided that enough was enough with PS2. Pressure forced Wilson to roll out of the pocket to his left, and he was able to find Jerry Judy along the sideline for a completion, who was being guarded by his former Alabama teammate. Judy was able to get a step on PS2, and hauling the ball along the sideline with both feet in bounds. A nice play by Russ and Judy and a rare completion allowed by PS2. The offense then moved on to a third down conversion drill. As explained in a previous video, this drill is also a friendly competition between the offense and the defense. The offense had back-to-back -back rough series, as on the first one they had a false start, and on the second one, Sutton slipped coming out of his break, leading to an easy pick six for Ronald Darby, who was Johnny on the spot. Although Darby has had a really nice camp and has made some really big plays in my opinion, that interception was basically a freebie. It didn't take long for Russ to shake off that pick. On the next play, rookie wide receiver Montrell Washington burned Kaywon Williams deep, who unfortunately was also injured on the play. Wilson launched the ball up deep for a wide open Washington for a 60 yard walk in touchdown. Talk about a nice way to respond. Fittingly though, the defense had the last word 
word as they forced an incompletion on the final play of practice. Although the offense had their fair share of nice plays, overall the defense was the more dominating unit today, so they get the win. If you're keeping score, that's two wins for the offense and two wins for the defense so far this training camp. On the injury side of things, as mentioned earlier, K1 Williams came up lame on the touchdown play to Montreal Washington. Based on reports, it appeared to be a soft tissue injury. After practice, Coach Hackett said that Williams was still being evaluated and we should know more at a later time. Kendall Hinton was also briefly examined by trainers following a play, but he quickly returned to action, so there doesn't appear to be anything concerning there. Other than that, nothing new to report on the injury front, which is always good news. The Broncos will have their first off day of camp tomorrow before being back in action bright and early Monday morning at UC Health Training Center for another full week of open practices. If you haven't made it out there yet, I highly suggest going. The fan attendance is getting larger and larger as the days go on. The hype is really starting to build for this new look Broncos team. Be sure to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss when we upload. And while you're at it, be sure to follow me on Twitter at Gage Madrid NFL for even more Broncos training camp coverage. And for now, this has been another episode of Denver Broncos Syndicate. I am your host, Gage Madrid, saying peace out and let's ride.